I am very excited to announce that I'm teaming up with Mr. Humble. He has a Facebook group called Men Competitive Gaming. Link to that is in the description. Go over there, find some money games, find some lab partners, have a great time, converse with some people that have the same interest as you. I'm over there. You can message me. Overall, just a great time. Really recommend you check it out. And let's get into the video. Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to start our series of updating the bunch of set ebook I did early in the year. I got a lot of views. I appreciate you guys for that. And we're gonna walk through every play. I'll dedicate one video to every single play and make sure to make it up to date. Show you the newest setups that the pros are running, some of the stuff that I found, and overall just make this game better. Before we get into it though, subscribe. Um, also, what the fuck has been going on over there in the US? Uh, like, can you guys figure that out, please? Thank you. The whole world is praying on you to figure that out. So, yeah. Thank you, guys. We're not going to talk about double posts in this video because I feel like double posts really hasn't changed for me too much. There are two setups that are primarily run. Um, I guess there are more, but those are the two, two that are mo run most often, just a drag. And then something else I go with is I go with a flat trout on running back, motion lock it across, have him run slant, and then run that setup. But really there, not much has changed for me in terms of running that play. So that's why I'm not really going to cover it. Maybe I'll cover it at the end of the, uh, the entire uh, update of the ebook. But yeah, I really don't think that I will, how, how do you say, I'll show you too much new stuff out of that because a lot of the stuff that I'm showing you out of this is pretty old. And still works, so why would I want to update it? Now, C spot and go, I feel like that's the play that I've been running the most compared to previously in the year. Um, I want to show you why. There are a couple of reasons why, and I'm going to start by uh, cover three. Um, f first and foremost, this is a cover three beater. If you run this with the bunch to the wide side, this is an absolutely easy cover three beater. Right there, boom, just pass leader away from the deep third. And really, you can't mess up the timing. Pretty much not at all. Now another uh, reason why this is nice is because there's this corner out smart draw it if you smart draw it is a nice uh, man beater. Also I forgot to mention I'm not sure but you want to smart draw the corner out uh, if you want to beat cover 3 that just makes it a little bit easier. So I would go with the setup like this crossing out on Kittle drag on the two outside receivers and then motion snap don't forget to smart draw it like I said. Now you see how open this gets that lock it he's not even that great a route runner but he still gets open. Now, if you have someone with route tech right there, I've gotten a lot of touchdowns on this. Like, so many touchdowns. Another thing that this corner is nice for is against cover 2. So, you will see how I smart route the corner out again. I just blocked the running back and put the guy, the solo wide receiver, right there, boom, uh, on an in route, and we get that open now. Richard Sherman, he stayed back on that, like, the whole time. So, I'm not sure. Uh, why he did that let's try that again usually the zone bites down a little bit earlier i'll try that again right here you can see me get the time nice but in general against zone i like to try this play to the short side a little bit better so what you would do is you would come out uh, with the play or with the bunch to the short side um, well, let me reset it you want to still smart route tyler locket you want to put door set on a streak in route on the back side and then block the running back, or you can keep him on his Texas, uh, not his Texas, his flat route. You can also smart uh, smart route the in route. It's really up to you. Uh, this is probably my favorite setup with the blocked running back. Or you can maybe put the running back on the curl. You can put him on a, um, actually let me check and release, check and release uh, this thing. Or you can put him on a uh, block and release hook, whatever you want. I like to have him blocked or something like this should just work fine so now you can see how we have a lot of different reads i should have thrown it to the flat way earlier right there so we'll do that again first read gonna be the flat all right flat is, flat is open let me take that truck up the field truck some cornerbacks uh george kill almost went animal right there um but yeah this is the setup it really is simple and one of the nicer things about this is actually let me uh, uh, this was not to show off uh, what's nice about it. A lot of people uh, change their zone drops for gun bunch. They go to 25 yards on the curl flats. And if they do that, let me actually just do it real quick. 25 yards, just like that. And now if they do that, this corner out smart route will get underneath that. That is the thing that is very annoying about this. So, seize button, go. 
you will see how this corner out gets underneath it. It's not going to get played by the curve play at 25 yards now. Let's change uh, the zone drops to 10 yards if we just um, make sure that they play the sticks. And now you will see how the uh, curve flat is going to drop down way, way shorter. And now if I roll out and get the time, you can see how this also gets open. So, what do we learn from that? Our opponent really has to be precise with his curve flats just to stop that one play. And then, of course, if he changes the curve flats to stop this play, we can attack him with some other plays. For example, the zone drops that I found to back this best is 15 to 20. Depends on what that my opponent has been showing me. If he more so wants to throw it underneath it, then I'll go to 15 yards. If he then shows me that he can also wait a little bit longer, understands that if he takes more time, pass leads up the field, can get over top 15 then i go 20 but 25 yards uh curl flats is too deep for this that's what she said so what are uh, some other plays that maybe i can uh beat uh the actually know what I, I don't know what i was going for uh never mind that but uh the main thing about this is to know the smart route the corner route. if you want to beat zone coverage you want to run it to the short side Sometimes it gets it gets it gets a little bit difficult with uh, cover two cover two beating cover two down the sideline. Sometimes it's a little bit tr more tricky. You want to make sure uh, that you uh, either your opponent plays aggressive flat zones, or you will have to uh, go to the wide side uh, to attack cover two. Yeah, one more time. Just gonna show you that it's there, but. This entire play really hinges on the idea that the corner out attracts so much attention and everything else is just there to facilitate it. And generally the other routes of this play do not beat anything. They are just there for your, if your opponent wants to really adjust heavy uh, to cover that corner out. For example, one thing that your opponent might do is he might put a hard flat out there, blow something like this. Now it is on us to understand, okay, um, the right side is not going to be there. All right, let me look to the left, check it down, uh, get some extra yards. Make them defend the right side of the field and then attack them left. That is the idea behind this play. One more time. I just want to show you this because this is so gorgeous. This is probably my favorite cover three video. This one and another one on the flop that I'll show you maybe in the next video or two videos uh, from now. I'll break down the play flood because that is actually the second most play that I've been running and that is one that I've really picked up because it is it's tough to stop you look at it, it doesn't look that tough but it's tough but yeah this is pretty much it backside this C route I don't really like it to be honest like if I were you I would, I, would, I would pretty much never run that but sometimes maybe I guess you can get lucky I'm up all night to get lucky you guys you guys know but with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me put the controller ceremonially down. We're at the end of this one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. This play, I don't know. I don't know if it's top two or top three. Definitely competing with Flood. I think double post still is the main play. But this play right here, I don't know why a lot, not more people are running it. This is probably the thing that se uh, separates a lot of people. Running bunch outside, a lot of people only know double post. They might also know PA. Oh, uh, what's it called? Ah, I'll have to look it up. I'll have to look it up. Right here. Okay, PA Dig Fork. They might also know PA Dig Fork, but the people who are really good, they absolutely use this play. They use Flood. And if I would really get, I would get on, get on this. I can't speak right now. I would really go into practice mode, try out the different rock combos, see if what works for you, get the pass lead down. But for now, I'm Audi. I appreciate you taking the time and please fix whatever is going on in the US.